Hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're talking about the trailer and the promo photos that have just been released for Episode 6 of Star Trek Picard Season 3. We're going to take a look through them, see what we're up for for next week's episode. We've already had the sneak peek scene, which I uh, did a look through on the weekend. So if you haven't seen that, click up here. Uh, otherwise, uh, today we're going to look at the trailer. Um, break that down shot by shot, see what our, uh, our crew is in for in episode six, which is entitled The Bounty. Very interesting title. Um, originally I thought it was entitled Just Bounty, but I get the impression it's actually entitled The Bounty, which uh, then begs the question, could this relate to uh, the Klingon Bird of Prey from uh, Star Trek um, IV Voyage Home? Um, that our, uh, our Enterprise crew named the bounty. So first we're going to look at the trailer, have a look at that, break that down shot by shot, then we'll have a look at some of these promo photos that have come out for this week's episode as well. Okay, let's take a look. The night will brighten with the ashes of the Federation. Our enemies have re-emerged. Whatever they're planning, it's somehow tied to Daystrom Station, home to Starfleet's most off-the-books tech. We need you. They found us. Have you any idea how many trees is violated? They'll just have to add it to my tab. All right, let's have a look at these shots in a bit more detail and see what we can uh, extract as to what's coming up in uh, our next episode. First here we've got a shot of the Shrike. It looks like there's a small ship or shuttlecraft or device of some kind being tracked beamed on board the ship. Vatic here with one of her henchmen on the right of frame. Hopefully we find out some more information about her. She hasn't been in it much the last couple of episodes. We've got the Titan here looking like they're flying dangerously close to a sun of some kind. We've got Worf and Raffi here in the uh, briefing room on board the Titan from the uh, sneak peek scene we've already seen from this episode. Vatic looking very smug and happy with herself in this particular shot. So whatever's going on, she's very pleased with herself. The Shrike here flying away from Daystrom Station. I wonder if this is from this actual episode or whether this is a flashback scene from the time when they stole the device from the uh, from the station in an earlier time. We've got Worf here being scanned by a couple of uh, green lasers, whether this is part of the security system that's on board Daystrom Station they have to get past. We've got Worf, Raffi and Riker as our away team that has to obviously get on board Daystrom Station to access the information they require. I wonder if the complex AI program they're talking about as being the safeguard for the facility is actually Moriarty. Geordi here looking at tad grumpy in most of the shots in this uh, episode it would appear. We've got the Titan here doing what appears to be some sort of evasive maneuvers whilst flying in uh, at pretty close range to Daystrom Station where we've got some very near collision kind of moments going on with other Federation starships here we can see on the left of frame. Raffi getting a bit unsteady here as she's knocked off her feet a little bit as a console or something explodes behind her. Riker firing a phaser at what appears to be a crewman wearing a Starfleet uniform. So I'm guessing here a, a chain, one of the changelings in disguise. We've got Raffi holding a phaser here. It looks like everybody's packing it in this episode. Looks like the Hand of Worf here firing his phaser, which is one of the uh, older style Dustbuster or Dolphin shaped kind of phases that we used to have in Next Generation, which is cool. Uh, looking at this shot, it appears to be on board Vatic's ship based on the uh, alien language and so forth on the control screen in the background, where we've got what appears to be one of Vatic's henchmen being vaporized by a phaser. Riker taking a punch to the face by one of Vatic's other crew members. And we've got the Titan here dodging some phaser fire coming from another Federation starship, which is obviously another one that's been compromised by the Changelings, similar to the Intrepid. And some other phaser fire coming from right of frame here by another vessel of some kind, which is obviously targeting them as well. All right, now we're going to have a look at the promo photos. They've released a whole uh, bunch of uh, promo photos for this week's episode as well, which sort of shows our crew and what they're up to. Uh, you know, Geordi and his daughters and all that sort of thing as well. We've got Worf and Raffi obviously joining the crew uh, from the uh, La Serena onto the Titan. So that's uh, pretty cool as well. Uh, let's have a look at all these promo photos and see what uh, they have to offer. Now in our first couple of photos, we see uh, Jack Crusher and Jean-Luc Picard here, obviously in the holodeck, Guinan's bar, that we've seen on many occasions before in this season. Obviously they're using this set to its maximum advantage this season for our little recreational scenes. Here we've got John Luke and Captain Liam Shaw sitting on the bridge, obviously Liam in the captain's chair there. No 
Riker to be seen in this shot, and, and nobody else for that matter. So it's a very empty looking bridge, just with these two in shot. Back on the bridge again, we've got Jean-Luc here in the foreground, and it appears we've got uh, Seven of Nine sitting, or Annika Hans, whatever you want to call her, in this season, uh, in the uh, captain's chair in the background. Jean-Luc and Beverly. Beverly got a bit of a smile on her face here. Obviously, Jean-Luc's saying something that appeals to her. Uh, she's looking quite pleased. Will Riker, Jean-Luc, Beverly, and uh, Seven all in the transporter room, obviously greeting Seven and Raffi as they beam into the ship. Raffi and Wolf here on the transporter room of the Titan. Raffi's kind of rocking a bit of a Han Solo sort of look in this episode with the leather jacket thing going on with the uh, hip holster there. And another shot of Jean-Luc greeting Wolf as he boards the Titan from the transporter room. Bit of a handshake here between Wolf and Picard in the conference room or observation lounge on the Titan, probably post mission briefing. A lot to see in this shot. We've got Geordie looking a bit cranky there. He's got an old school TOS era uh, United Federation of Planets banner in the background. We've got the schematic of the uh, space dock there on the screen behind him. We've also got various gold models of uh, various Federation starships there on the bench and his desk, along with Zephram Cochran pointing to the stars, as Geordie did once in uh, F Star Trek First Contact to mimic this pose. We've got John luc Seven and uh, Shaw greeting Geordie and his daughter Alandra on the bridge as they've no doubt come to join them. Here's a shot of Geordie looking somewhat cranky. In fact, every shot of Geordie I've seen uh, from this episode looks him looking cranky. I wonder what that's all about. Shaw with a big smile on his face here. I think he's very chuffed to be meeting Geordie because we know Liam Shaw is a grease monkey from way back. So meeting one of the most decorated engineers in Starfleet is probably going to be a bit of a hero worship moment for Captain Liam Shaw. Geordie and daughter Alandra LaForge here. Geordie again looking cranky in this shot. I'm not sure whether it's crankiness is towards Shaw or whether it's towards maybe uh, Jack Crusher perhaps. Another shot here of Alandra LaForge played by uh, LeVar Burton's real life daughter Mika Burton. From these next couple of shots we look like uh, we've got Jack Crusher having a bit of a chat to uh, Alandra and uh, Sydney LaForge. Maybe he's putting some moves on because the girls have got a bit of a smirk on their face here. They're uh, maybe copping some of the Jack Crusher charm so maybe Geordie's raising an eyebrow at his daughter's being hit on by uh, oh, Jack Crusher here. And Worf and Riker and Raffi on board Daystrom Station, no doubt looking for the evidence they need. Guys, as always, uh, if you haven't subscribed to Cyphonics yet, please uh, don't be shy to do so. Click on that big subscribe button to stay up to date and current with all the latest Star Trek news on YouTube. I think this is going to be a really interesting episode. Uh, I'm intrigued to know why Geordie uh, has a very grumpy look on his face in most of the uh, most of the shots. He, he's not too happy, Geordie. Uh, he's, he's not greeting our, our crew with open arms. He's uh, he's a bit cranky. So I'll be very interested to see uh, you know what has caused him to become uh, so cranky. Maybe it's simply the fact that Picard and Riker put his daughter's life at jeopardy, perhaps, or. Maybe Maybe it's something, you know, more deep-seated, like he's, I don't know, pissed off at Picard for unplugging Data from the memory module and he never got to say goodbye to his friend Data. I'm sure we'll find out in uh, in, our, in our next episode. Uh, leave a super thanks if you're able to. It really helps the channel out. Much appreciate that as well. Uh, if, if you'd like a, a t-shirt or a hoodie or a mug, cap or anything like that, be sure to check out the Cypher Next merch store, which has heaps of cool stuff in there and is 20% off until the 22nd of March. So be sure to uh, take advantage of that before that runs out. I'll be back on Thursday for my review for episode 6. I'll see you guys then.